Hey guys, it's the Druidic Rifleman. Um, I believe you've probably seen me posting on TechPB and around other places, so... Anyways, I wanted to comment. Uh, while the procedures you used were pretty valid, uh, consistency from each distance increment out, you were using the same sort of procedures for each shot and each distance. Um, personally, I believe you should have been using a rest, such as a proper rifle bench rest, or at least a barricade or bunker or tree or a log or something to rest the marker on. Now there's a specific reason for this. Um, except for possibly at a location such as CQB in Toronto or if you're snap shooting, um, most likely you're not going to be taking a lot of standing shots at the 400 and 500 yard marks. I know personally if I'm shooting offhand at 100 yards with a rifle, my groups are about twice to th three times the size. So in all actuality, you could have probably been making pinpoint shots. The issue with the standing position is that it is so unstable. Now for many times, with most paintball markers, this will have no effect. The issue becomes when you're shooting first strike as you were, um, it generally is more accurate than the average paintball player is capable of achieving. What I mean by that, the marker will group smaller than the player is capable of grouping mechanically. And while you did prove the marker's effectiveness, it wasn't really right to the total inherent mechanical accuracy of the marker but more to the accuracy of the shooter using that position. A rest would have eliminated a number of variables in e from each stage. You would have been likely able to pick which pod holder at the 50 and 100, 100 yard lines, or 50 and 100 foot lines. Uh, I'm used to yards versus feet, it's a shooting thing. But at 300 yards, you were generally able to hit from a standing position no less, which was generally what the product's literature on first strike states. I'd be interested to see what you think of the adopting these procedures as an enhancement to the first strike test you've been doing. Also, did you require like special modifications to put the uh, air through stock on that or was it like something you picked up from another company? Because I noticed you said it was war a war sensor stock versus uh, an actual um, Tiberius Arms. Anyways, I like the test. Um, I, I like that the uh, stock option that you used wasn't a um, remote line through the mag like most of them. So I, I'd be interested to see what to know what you guys did for the mods. Anyways. Um, I'm liking what you guys are doing with your channel, so I'm going to subscribe when I'm done this. Take care.